Many of you guys might be using Nova Launcher as the primary launcher on your device, but there are some hidden features and some secret tricks inside of Nova Launcher that you guys might not know. In this video, I'll show you seven of these hidden tricks. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. Nova Launcher offers a lot of customization and one of the main highlighting features of the launcher is the ability to change the icons. All you have to do is tap on the edit button and then change the icon. But what you might not know is that you can actually make the icon invisible. So you'll just have to tap on the edit button and then tap on the thumbnail. Go to gallery apps and then select your basic gallery app. I'll have the invisible icon in the description box below. You'll have to download it and then you'll have to copy it to your internal SD card. And when you select the invisible icon and then tap on done, it will change the icon to blank. And then you can also remove the icon label. And when you tap on done, it will remove the icon and the icon label, but you still have the icon here. You might not be able to see it, but if you tap on it, it will open the Chrome browser. If you want to remove the icon, you can drag it just like a normal icon onto the X button. This Google icon on the desktop looks like just a normal icon and if you tap on it, it opens Google Now, just like a Google Now icon would do. But it is actually a hidden folder. If you swipe up on it, it will open all the icons that are inside this folder. So I'll show you how you can create this kind of hidden folder on your Android phone. First of all, you'll need to create a folder and have some applications in it. And then when you tap and hold it, you'll get an edit option. And here you'll have an option to swipe to open folder. When you tap on that and then click on done, it will actually make your folder hidden. And if you tap on this icon, it will open the play games. But when you swipe up on it, it will open the folder. There is a labs feature inside of the Nova Launcher that has all the new features and the experimental features that Nova Launcher has and it is hidden. You can't access this directly from the Nova Launcher settings but I will show you how you can enable it. So to enable the launcher first of all you will have to go to the Nova Launcher settings and here you will have to do nothing but hold down the volume down button and then you will get a pop up that says labs menu enabled. When you'll scroll down, you'll have the labs menu option and it has a lot of options like you can enable the weather in the search bar or you can have big grid size options as well. And you can also select the long press option on your home button to open Google now. This will only work for the Nova launcher and outside of Nova launcher, if you long press the home button, it will open up your default application. If you're liking the tricks till now, make sure to tap on the subscribe button because I keep making all these tips and tricks videos. There is a hidden search bar inside of the Nova launcher that you can access directly from the home screen. To do that, you will have to tap and hold this small arrow button. And when you do that, you will get a search apps option. And here you will have the frequent apps, the recent apps and the new and updated applications. This option is very useful and it gives you a handy list of applications and it is automatically divided into three tabs that lets you browse your applications quite easily. And if you want to search an app directly, you can do that as well. So you can change the icon of the applications and you can also swipe up to open hidden folders but you can also add swipe up gestures to other icons. So here I have the photos application. I've set up the swipe up gesture to open my camera application and this is quite useful because I don't need to add a camera icon next to it. So if I ever need to take a photograph, all I need to do is swipe up from the photos application. So to do that to any icon, all you have to do is long press the icon and then click on icon options and then tap on the edit button and here you will have a swipe up action. When you tap on that, you will have different options that you can choose. You can choose various options but I have set it to applications and I have set it to camera. So it opens the camera when I swipe up. You can also choose any other application that you want or you can select any other shortcut that you want as well. Double tap to turn off the display is a feature that is available for mostly rooted devices. But I will show you how you can get it on non-rooted devices using the Nova Launcher. So to get the feature, you'll have to tap and hold on the home screen and then open the settings menu. And in the gestures and input column, you'll have a gesture for double tap. Select that and select screen lock. So when you double tap your device, it will ask you if you want to lock the screen or set a screen timeout. On phones with fingerprint scanner, the screen timeout works better. It will turn off the display for 5 seconds, then lock your device. 
So while using Nova Launcher, you might have felt the need for organizing your icons. You can do that by dividing your app drawer into different tabs. So for example, you can have the social tab that will have only the social media icons and then you can have the apps that will have all the icons. You can do multiple tabs as well and here's how to enable the tabs menu. You'll have to open the Nova settings and here in the apps and widget section, you'll have to enable tab bar. After doing that, to add different tabs, you'll have to open the drawer group section and then tap on drawer groups. Here you can add different tabs and you can also change the colors or the apps that are included in this. This video's notification shout out goes to if you guys also want a notification shout out, comment down below after you have turned your notifications on and I'll give one guy a shout out in the next video. If you liked the video, make sure to tap on the thumbs up button and you can also watch some previous videos on this channel.